Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to make a propeller uh, using Animator and I'm using version 1. So here we go. We're going to use the straight path tool. And I'm going to start in the center of the screen. Go up this way, back down this way, and come to the center. Right there. Okay to build lathe I'm going to choose six sides we're going to spin it around the y-axis and click OK now I'm going to click uh, click the original spline and just to show you what I'm clicking on I'm going to move it to show you this I'm going to get I'm going to get rid of that original triangle gone I just pressed delete on the keyboard that's how I got rid of it okay so now we're going to change modes. We were in object edit mode. We're going to switch to uh, point edit mode. So if you click right here, uh, and we're going to select edge. So you select this right here. Use drag select. Click right here, drag. We're going to change view so you can see what I selected. So let's. So I changed. I went to the wireframe view, and so you can see I selected this, these edges up here. I'm going to press delete on the keyboard, so same thing at the bottom. I'm going to select these uh, edges at the bottom. You don't want to go too high. You just want to select go about right here. Let me show what happens if you go too high. So if I go up here, it will delete these ones. You don't want to delete those. Okay. So now that we have all these bottom points selected, uh, we're going to go to top view. Now use this rotate tool right here. Use the right or left arrow, it doesn't matter. Rotate it. All right, with this edge select still selected, go to edit and select all. You can also do control A. Now we're selecting all the edges. Go back to edit and click fill holes. That didn't work. So there's one thing I forgot to do. We're going to go back to this point right here, this, this uh, ver vertex select or point select. Use drag select. We're going to select all the points in the middle. We're going to make them one. So we go to build. Oh, I apologize. It's under edit. Edit. Merge points. And that's probably fine, 0.5. So we're going to move this to the side. We should see these move maybe a little bit. There we go. They move a little bit. So hopefully that fixed the issue. So we're going to click Edge Select again. Go to Edit, Select All. Go back to Edit, do Fill Holes. There we go. So now it filled them. So we'll go to a different view, uh, like Smooth Shaded. If we can see, they're all filled in. OK? Uh, and if we go back, go back to here, if we use this pointer and click in the background, we can see they're all gray. They just look blue because that, that showed they were selected. So if you click in the background, it makes them gray. Let's go back to front view. Okay, now that the blades are done, I'm going to make a center for the propeller. So I'm going to go back to object edit mode, click on sphere, make a sphere, double click. And I'm going to, in this area, I'm going to put zero, because if there's a zero here and a zero here, it will center it on this line. So that way I can easily move it up uh, in the center of the propeller. And I know, I know it will be straight. Okay, I don't just want it to be a circle, so I'm going to go to build, convert to mesh. That means I can go to wireframe view and point edit mode and move some things around. Like, for instance, I can... If I want to, I can select just one point and move a point up, or, or move, uh, move a few things around. Um, I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit to make it easier. So I'm going to click this eyeball, use the zoom tool, and I can drag and move, make things easier. So now when I go back to this point edit mode and go to the point tool, I can click on this one point. 
Uh, and now I'm going to use the up arrow on my keyboard just to press up. I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to select all these using drag select and maybe move all these up a little bit. All right. So everything's way zoomed in. I can go back to view and frame. And it goes back and, and frames it nicely so I can see everything. Uh, so now I'm going to go back to smooth shaded view. I'm going to go to object edit mode, make sure this is selected, select this item, and then use the up arrow on my keyboard and move it up. There we go. Uh, if you're one of my students watching this, you know I want you to put your name on it. So click right here, add some 3D text. Just click right here. Uh, I'm going to type my name, at least my last name. Now just go to build and extrude. Click OK. Made it 3D. Let's also add some color or some material. So we'll click this right here. There we go. Uh, I'm going to click that, click apply. Maybe I want the center a different color. Let's do that red. Apply. Let's do my name as well. There we go. You can use arc rotate to see how it looks. Uh, Let's actually go to ortho view. There we go. Ortho view is a good view because you can see everything at an angle to see how it's 3D. Uh, again, if you're one of my students, I want you to click render to submit it. So we're going to go render, render image. Now let's make it 800 by 600. Click OK. Uh, and now we can just click save. Let's make it a JPEG. Uh, click this button right here. And choose where you're saving it. Uh, after you save it, you're going to submit it to me. And if you have any questions, just let me know. That's it. Take care.